Hey everyone, I thought I would try this driving while uh, taking video. Since I'm not actually going to look at the video, so it may be off center or whatever, I'll just have to apologize for that. But a lot of you guys have asked me why don't I don't do vlogs or I don't know what they're called. Yeah, I'm not 20 anymore, so forgive me if I use the wrong terminology. So, okay, first of all, uh, one thing I want to talk about today that was going to be in my reintroduction video, but it got to be like 20 something minutes long, and I thought, okay, I'll break it into some parts. I'll do this instead of filming at home. I wanted to talk to you guys about interrupting chains. Um, a lot of you already know about this. It is kind of a basic uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Fundamental 101 type of thing, but I also think that you need to realize that, uh, for those of you watching right now and thinking, okay, I'm about to turn this video off, and hey, that's fine. There is still a lot of people that do not understand um, chaining and how it works and what you can and can't do during that or before or after or whatever. Um, so here's here's just a, kind of a, a basic. Okay, uh, let's say your opponent plays MST, Heavy Storm, something to blow up your back row and you want a chain call of the, uh, of the Haunted. Uh, no, that's not good. Let's do this instead. Let's do a um, mirror force, like you attack into a mirror force, right? And you have a Barkeon in your grave, and you think, okay, I'll call it back out and negate it with Barkeon's effect. Okay, here's where you're going to run into some problems. For one, Barkeon has to be, that was me honking, I don't, I don't F around. People, uh, people don't drive aggressively or, you know, get out of the way or drive whatever, I just, I just honk at them all the time. Okay, so... The thing is, Barkeon has to be activated to work. He's not a Jinzo. You can't just bring him out and, and negate traps with him in the middle of a chain. So what you need to realize is, Mirror Force is uh, first card to be played, right? It was chained to an attack, or actually responded to an attack, sorry. And then uh, Call the Hana was chained to Mirror Force. All right? So when Barkeon is brought out with the Call the Haunted, it's doesn't have time, it misses timing, it, it can't interrupt the chain between the Mirror Force and the Call of the Haunted. It can't go between them and activate something before the Mirror Force resolves. Um, so, you know, sorry I keep licking my lips, I just had some, had some candy. So, I'm thinking, um, you guys need to understand that, it cannot activate its ability. Now, if you brought out a Jinzo that doesn't have to activate, it's just always live, it's a continuous that would work just fine, okay? Um, and that's where a lot of people fall short of, of understanding, hey guys, um, you know, chain links and, and priorities and, and uh, interrupting chains and so forth. Um, I was also listening to Koa Cresta and his explanation of why Acid is his favorite mass hero and, and why it's so good. And he explained it very well too, if you want to go watch that video. I'll try to see if I can remember to have a, a link in the description, but I probably won't remember. I'm probably just going to upload this from my phone. Okay, so you, uh, you make, you have zero on the field, right? Elemental hero, zero. And what you do is you, um, you, uh, play, like, I guess you could just play it. You don't have to wait till your opponent's turn, but it's, it's really good when you do. And you have zero on the field, you, you play mass change. Like, let's say they try to destroy your zero or bounce it or remove it or whatever, and you chain it, Okay. That zero goes off, okay? But first, acid has to come out. So here's how it works. Uh, zero is destroyed, or it, excuse me, it leaves the field for, because uh, it doesn't destroy anything, it just attributes it. It leaves the field for uh, mass change, okay? And then um, acid comes out, so it's the last thing that happens, and the first thing to resolve, it blows up your opponent's entire uh, back row right? And um, let's say they chain Starlight Road. Okay, so they chain Starlight Road and uh, you're like, oh, okay, I can negate that. Well, yes, that's true. You negated the destruction and you, the next thing that happens is Starlight Road um, would destroy uh, Acid and negate it and so forth. But um, the Starless Dragon, the Stardust Dragon that they brought out would then be destroyed by Zero's effect because it happened next in the chain. It can't be, uh, the Stardust Dragon cannot activate its ability between those things, okay, because that would be starting a new chain and you're in the middle of a chain. It can't work like that. So I hope this helps. 
Um, you know, uh, there's definitely a lot more circumstances where interrupting chains happens. Uh, we can talk more about priority. I just want to help myself get you guys ready. Um, who, whatever is going to help for the for the YCS Dallas or Chicago after that. And also just at your locals and regional plays. You know, I think that um, I definitely, uh, if you guys watch my dual videos, that I have work to do on myself to uh, to be a better player. And I also have uh, work to do on my videos to hopefully bring better content. So I hope uh, you guys will be patient while I do those things. And hope you guys like these type of videos. I can do a million more of them. My uh, drive home every day is sure boring. So I can just, uh, I can just do these as much as uh, you guys like. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, post any questions below, and we can talk about them, any ruling questions or anything about chaining. Um, and uh, maybe we can you know, do a, a segment like this every single week and just talk about uh, rulings and, and gameplay and what you should and shouldn't do in this circumstance and so forth. Uh, so, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.